Have you ever thought about where your produce comes from? Most grocery chains receive produce from various local and national farmers. In fact, there are about 3.4 million farmers in the United States today. But of that staggering number, only 45,000 are black farmers. At The Better Buggy, we are a proud group of Atlanta-based black-owned farmers, selling produce locally and nationwide. Our easy-to-navigate online platform makes it easy for you to make a one-time purchase or to simplify your life by subscribing to our weekly produce box. Whichever frequency you choose, you can order with confidence knowing you'll receive 100% organic farm fresh produce. If you're looking for a thoughtful gift for a loved one that they'd actually find useful, be sure to pop by our online store where you can snag a gift card your recipient can use to order their own produce and t-shirts. Ready to start supporting local black owned farms and making healthier food decisions? Visit thebetterbuggy.com now to start shopping. You know, it's funny how these folks will make any and everything up to get each other off of the hook. They don't even care if it sounds ridiculous, ladies and gentlemen. So the lawyer for Derek Chauvin is saying that he wants him sentenced to probation. This is what he's telling the judge because cops have shorter life expectancies. Well, can't we say that about many people that go to jail? How about drug addicts to go to jail? They have shorter life expectancy. Even a lot of these people with mental illness, some of them, depending on how far gone they are, they can have a shorter life expectancy. There's many people that go to jail that potentially can have just being in jail itself can give you a light, uh, a shorter life expectancy. You know, so this is just laughable. You know, and obviously he don't have a good reason. He's just grasping for straws. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is The Insider, June 2nd, 2021. Derek Chauvin's attorney has filed a motion requesting that the Minnesota judge only sentence him to probation and time served, arguing that a police officer's life expectancy is shorter than that of a civilian. Well, I don't feel bad for you because you chose that profession. So why should I feel bad for you because you got a shorter life expectancy? Choose a profession where you don't have that situation. So no, I, I, I don't see that as a viable argument. He didn't have to be a police officer. He could have chose something else to do. The motion filed Wednesday comes roughly three weeks ahead of Chauvin's sentencing hearing. The former officer faces up to 40 years in prison for the murder of George Floyd. The state is requesting a sentence of 360 months or 30 years. According to court documents filed Wednesday, Chauvin's age, weight, in his favor, when determining a sentence, uh, attorney Eric Nelson wrote, life expectancy of police officers is generally shorter and police officers have a significantly higher average uh, probability of death from specific diseases that did uh, males in general, you know, they, they get diseases more than males in the general population. That's what they're pretty much trying to say. He has been a uh, preliminary diagnosed with heart damage and may likely die at a younger age, like many ex-law enforcement officers. Well, then what are you doing out here choking people out on the street? And many times throughout you know, the time when he was a police for 19 years, you got heart problems, but you were a cop. Then I have to question your intelligence on your career choice. <laughs> Shoot, that's nobody's problem, but Derek Chauvin's. 
prosecutor successfully argued that uh, aggravating factors on the day of Floyd's death merit consideration of a lengthier sentence than the average 12 and a half years that first time offenders face when convicted of second degree murder. So that's what they're going for, you know? And we don't know what's going to happen. He may actually get the 12 and a half years, which is extremely low and unacceptable. He should not get that because of the nature of the way he killed Floyd. Hennepin County Judge Peter Cahill found a longer sentences was warranted on the following grounds. Chauvin abused his authority during the killing. He killed Floyd in the presence of children as young as nine years old. So it was kids as young as nine years old around. Floyd was particularly vulnerable. While handcuffed, Chauvin treated Floyd with particular cruelty. The other officers on the scene acted as a group. Nelson is now asking Cahill to reverse that finding and impose a lower than average sentence. Chauvin should be sentenced only to the time that he already served, Nelson argued. Chauvin was unaware he was committing a crime. Listen to this BS. He was aware of what he was doing. You know, this is just as bad as them trying to tell you somebody was not aware of the fact that they were being a racist. Yes, they were. Get the hell out of here with that crap too. So there, his lawyer is saying Chauvin was unaware he was committing a crime on the day he killed Floyd. That's BS. Anybody to believe that you're, you're just, never mind. It, 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 he knew what he was doing. He was not unaware of anything. Get the hell out of here with that crap. His attorney wrote, and while Chauvin has been painted as a dangerous man, which he is, in the eyes of the public, Nelson argued he is not an average offender because he led a hardworking, law-abiding life. No, he didn't. He led a life of using his badge to get away with choking out and killing people. That's what he used his badge for. And a lot of these guys are serial killers with a badge. They are. So anyway... Um, and had no criminal history prior to Floyd's death. That's because when he was choking out a 14 year old and many others, the police department chose to look the other way instead of dealing with Chauvin. It's not that he had a clean record. It's just like I said before, many of them commit crimes, but they don't charge them with a crime. So it appears like they are not committing crimes when they are a criminal. Mr. Chauvin has also received thousands of letters of support since his arrest in 2020 from local and international communities. He wrote, yeah, just a bunch of racist people that wrote him and agree with him. So you know what? I pray that all of you that agree with Chauvin, somebody kneels on the neck of your son, your daughter, your mothers, your fathers, so you can know what it feels like. You need to feel that pain. Since you don't know how to feel it, it needs to happen to you. Chauvin is scheduled to be sentenced on June 25th, one year and one month after he pinned Floyd to the ground for more than nine minutes. So that is a lame as excuse and it should not even be taken into consideration as far as I'm concerned. It's a BS excuse and his lawyer needs to be disbarred for coming up with that kind of argument. But y'all tell me what you think. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace.